Versailles, the enchanted palace where all is splendor and delight, where the marriage of art and nature produce perfection. Versailles, its other face, a formidable instrument of power built by Louis XIV. The great Bourbon king moved the center of power away from Paris, as if to distance the court from the whispers and intrigues of the capital. and the plots that have haunted him since childhood. The minister's quarters throng with petitioners from all over the land who have come to Versailles to promote their own concerns. The second gate, destroyed during the revolution, is the real entrance to the palace. It is locked by night, but by day it is open to all. Everyone has access to the king, Understandably, this freedom astonishes foreigners. Guards stand by to confiscate firearms, to search carriages authorized inside the royal courtyard, and to make sure everyone is properly dressed. But everything has been anticipated. Those who have neither the means nor the right to carry a sword and hat can rent them at the entrance. People from all walks of life rub shoulders on their spectacular marble stairway that leads to the Queen's quarters on one side and to the King's on the other. After the death of Queen Marie Therese, the King moves into apartments where he will live for the next 30 years. 30 years lived pitilessly exposed to the public eye. 24 bodyguards live in the guard room at all times. Four of them are assigned to protect the King from the crowd any time he moves about the palace. Here in the first anteroom, where courtiers stroll by day, the king eats the royal meal. At 10 o'clock, he displays his royal appetite to all. Before the fireplace, the royal caterers, literally attendants of the mouth, have laid the table for the sovereign and the royal family. Lords and ladies take their places in the anteroom according to rank in the presence of curious passers-by, astounded by the spectacle. Through the windows of the second anteroom, one can see the Hall of Mirrors. Here, the courtiers and attendants wait to be admitted at the moment of the royal awakening. This room, called the Bullseye, takes its name from the curious shape of its circular window. Frolicking infants and cherubs, this frieze embodies the tastes of an aging king who demands that youth be ever-present about him. A page boy silently opens the shutters of the royal bedchamber. Golden light suffuses the chamber. Slowly, the king awakens. <laughs> 